Hi everyone, welcome back to Waterhouse Ford. Well, it's been a, a few days since we last made a video. Um, there's been a lot going on here. Um, I'll be making a separate video on another project we've been working on, basically a rainwater harvesting project for um, uh, supplying the toilet in the house. Uh, just in an attempt to... We, we get a lot of rain here, and obviously it's a, it's a fantastic resource, it's free. Um, and what we've done is we've set up a a system which has a pressure pump uh, from the rainwater tank. It's a large tank um, and a pressure pump. But that pressure pump is actually run off of 12 volts and is fed by a car battery, which in turn is charged by a small solar panel. So it's been quite a, an interesting project to put together, uh, to design um, and, and to get working. Um, that's now working. We've, got, we've learned a bit from it. Um, and I'll, as I said, I'll make a separate video and uh, I'll, I'll publish that probably in about a week's time and uh, show you how it works, show you some of the things that we found uh, and also uh, perhaps some of the improvements that could be made should any of you uh, want to do something similar. Anyway, back to the Ferguson. Um, so today I'm going to put, be putting back together, uh, so reassembling, one of the the brake backing plates. Um, so in my last video I showed you where I had a problem with one of the uh, cross shafts. Uh, I couldn't get that little key out. Um, I still not managed to get it out. Um, so what I've decided to do is basically to leave it. Um, I've cleaned up the shaft as best I can without removing the key. I've um, cleaned all the other parts and it's pretty much ready to go back together. Um, so that's what today's video is about, and what I'll do is I'll show you um, cutting the keyway into the washer, so that it'll go over that key, uh, which basically is the only part which um, needs to go over that key. Well, that's in the spring, but I'm, I'm pretty certain I can get the spring over uh, just by stretching it over. So should be interesting. Um, it's not quite. Uh, exactly how it should be of course. Um, in theory you should be able to get that, that key out um, and therefore you should be able to slide both the spring and the shaft over the um, uh, you know, over without having to cut cut the keyway but um, needs must and uh, that's basically it. it's not going to do any harm it's, uh, it's not going to change anything but if any of you encounter a similar issue then uh, perhaps this is a way to, to overcome it. Anyway, so that's what today's video is about. It won't be a particularly long one, I don't think. Um, but it's kind of where we are at the moment. And um, yeah, well, look, I hope you enjoy it and um, follow along. All right, just quickly to show you uh, the shaft. So this is basically I've cleaned it up. You can see I've had to clean up that key and uh, make sure that that's uh, relatively square again so that the um, knuckle will go over. You can see there the, the keyway for the on the knuckle that needs to go on there. I'll show you in a minute. We'll be putting it all, all together. But what needs to happen is um, I can show you this this washer needs to go over there as well. Now, as you can see, let me just get it so you can actually see that. That's not going to go over, right? So I need to cut a small keyway in this washer so that that can go over. The other thing that needs to go on is the spring. So the spring, as you can see, I'm going to have to wind it on over that key. Um, and both of these run down to the other end of the shaft. And obviously you've got the backing plate that runs here. And then those, both of those push up against the, or, or sit up against the, the backing plate. So, uh, yeah, so that's what we're going to do today. Main thing is to cut that, well, the first thing is to cut that keyway, get the washer, or well, get the backing plate on, then get the washer on, then the spring, and then we'll refit this knuckle and uh, get it all back together. So, this is the washer that we need to cut a groove in. What I've done, I hope you can see this. I just used a sharpie just to colour it and then I just, uh, using a scrub, I made a, a mark where the slot needs to be cut. 
Now, what I'm going to do, firstly I'm going to pop that in the vase. And I'm just going to use a file, a metal file. This is a like a half round one. And what I'm going to use do is use the flat edge to file down uh, along that the straight side, then do the other side, and then flatten it out in the bottom. And that should be enough to um, to get past that key. Okay, hopefully you can see that. What I'll do, I'll just quickly bring the camera over so you can see. So you see that's made a, a groove. Now we do the opposite side. Okay, and that's made, I need to go a little bit more on that one. And that's made, now we've got a point in the middle, which we just need to take off basically. We just need to flatten that. Unfortunately, I don't have a square file. If I had a square file now, that would be ideal. I really need to get one. This should be good enough just to make a slot for that shaft to go in. Now, let's quickly grab the shaft and hopefully that will go through. And that's really all we need. So let's get to it. We'll uh, put the backing plate on, um, get the Shaft reinstalled, get a, get the spring and the washer installed, and uh, get the knuckle put back together again as well. Okay, I've now got the backing plate in the vase. And the first thing we want to put back is this uh, bracket which holds the the two pivot points for the for the brake shoes and which the cross shaft brake cross shaft goes through over here. Hopefully, you can see where I am. Let me just adjust the camera slightly. Hopefully that's going to give you a better view. So that goes on there. And then at the back we've got two uh, castellated washers. I think that's what you call them. Or serrated washers perhaps. And then two very large nuts which... Uh, Pop on there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little bit of Loctite on those threads. These generally don't need to come off. I mean, generally you'll only take them off for cleaning, like we've done. Put a little bit of Loctite on there. I'll do the other one when I get to it, actually. Um, I'll just pop that nut down finger tight. Now, obviously, with that um, serrated washer, Loctite's not really essential. That, that washer should do its job. But because I'm reusing washers and not putting new ones on, I thought I'd just uh, play, be safe, better safe than sorry, and just put a little bit of Loctite on. I'm not putting a lot on. It's really just enough to, to hold them in place. Now, I noticed there's a little bit of play in this. Uh, if I loosen them off, you know, I don't think it really matters, but I'm just going to make sure that these holes line up as close to center as possible, which is about there. Let's see if I can hold it still enough. There we go. And then... Uh, did I find a big enough socket for that? I think it was this one. No. Okay, I can't find the, the socket for this, so I'm just going to use a large shifting spanner. 
I mean, basically these do need to be relatively tight. You don't want them moving. You don't want them coming off. So we want to make them reasonably tight. Unfortunately, my shifting is a little bit iffy. Right, well, that's about as tight as I can make them without putting a lever bar on, and I'm pretty sure that'll be that'll do the job. So the next thing is we want to get the so the shaft, the cross shaft, now goes through there, and that basically sits there like that. And then we put our washer on. Now I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let me just check the camera. No, I'll just there we go. So the washer goes on over that key and runs up against the back of the shaft. And then we've got the spring, which that's going to have to be wound over this key. Hopefully it will stretch enough to get over. Too much. But what I might do is just turn this around so we can both see what's going on. There we go. Hopefully that is in the frame. Let's just adjust this down again. There we go. Right. So what I'm doing, I'm just running the screwdriver around the coil essentially and uh, hopefully that will oh, how did that happen? Oh turning the wrong way. Damn it. Alright, let's try that again. Of course, the last one's going to be the hardest because it is the smallest. I know I'm getting in front of the camera there, I'm sorry. But uh, there we go. Right, so that's all of them over the key. And we can now run that up all the way to the end. Now, I'm not, I mean, I believe the job of that spring really, the spring in the washer really, is just to hold, well, to push up against the backing plate um, up here. Sorry. It's not very good camera work today, I'm, I'm afraid, but this is a, quite a difficult thing to do um, and to film because it's such an awkward piece. So, basically. That needs to sit. Now, I'm not entirely sure exactly where. Once we get everything put back together, we'll know exactly where this needs to be. But once this is all installed, I believe all you do is you push that spring up so that that washer sits against the backing plate here. And I think its primary job really is just to keep dirt out from from entering that hole. If you re recall, if I pull that back, you can see there's quite a large hole there. And I think it does the job here really is just to keep 
the majority of dirt out of, of, of to stop dirt from getting into that hole. So, so there we go. So that's that bit. Right now we're going to move on to the end of the shaft, which is where the, the knuckle and everything goes. Um, so the main thing we need, sort the camera out again. You can see where I'm working, so I'm going to be working mostly there. Right, so we've got this, this is the knuckle, the main, the main body of it. Obviously you can see that's been nicely cleaned up. There is a bush inside here. It's a brass um, perforated bush. I've not replaced that. Uh, it, it feels absolutely fine to me. Um, there's not a lot of play. Let me show you. So this is the shaft that goes in there. Sits inside there. There's really no play on that. Well, there's a very, very tiny little bit, but I imagine that's that's pretty much it. Um, so we're just going to leave that in. We're going to oil it up, and uh, hopefully that will will be fine. Now the other thing is working out which way this knuckle goes. Um, I believe it goes this way, and obviously over the key. Let me turn this so that you can see what I'm doing again. There we are. So the key is here now. I think you can just see it there in the camera. Uh, and then this piece goes on there and rides up against this shoulder here. And the brake pedal comes in here, on here, or the shaft of the pedal at least. So that's it. All of this is seized up. So when I took it all apart, nothing would move, nothing would turn. And uh, so this all being cleaned up, polished, and um, all made good. Now, we have then a bolt, washer, and a nut, which go through here and tighten this up. Obviously, once we've got it knocked into place. So I'll just um, line that up quickly. Make sure that I've got this the right way. Yeah, I'm just checking on the other one. Okay, so now this needs to be knocked in to um, into position. So I'm just going to gently tap it. It's a bit awkward with the camera there, but uh, hopefully I'll try not to hit the camera. to go on, I might have to just file that key a little bit more. Let's just take this off again. It seems to be struggling. Yeah, that key's still a little bit um, proud on one side. So let me just um, sort that out. Okay, I believe that's going to be better. Now I'm going to put a little oil on there just to um, help it. Now what we'll do is just uh, 
spin that around a few times just to spread the oil. And then, there we go. Right, let's try it now. You can see that's going on a lot easier now. I'm come around the other side of the camera. Right now, I'm not entirely sure how far it actually needs to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this distance on the other one and then uh, set it to that and hopefully that will be right. Okay, so on the other one I'm measuring 23 millimeters. So it needs to go a little bit more. Just a smidgen more and we should be there. And I think that's probably it. Yeah, I'm, I'm good with that. Okay, so that's that. Now what we'll do... So we'll pop the... Uh, Pop the bolt through. Now, I believe it goes, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to put it that way, put the nut and the washer underneath. And what I'll do is just turn this around so we can work more easily. There we go. So we'll just pop a little bit of Start on there. Get the washer on, and then tighten it up. Now, of course, this may may need to be adjusted later when we get uh, get it all back on the track. We might find that this uh, opening is not wide enough, and we need to uh, not long enough, and we need to. Um, just open it up a bit, but uh, for now, we'll just, I believe that should be right, so we'll tighten that up there. And it really doesn't have to be massively tight, I mean, that all that's doing is gripping on the shaft to stop us from moving backwards and forwards. It's not preventing it from turning, because that's the job of the key. And then this basically sits inside there, like that, and... Jobs are good in. If you saw one of my very early videos when we were dismantling the brakes, we had one of these, um, and uh, I believe it goes like that. Now, one of these was broken on the old one. The, one of these pins was broken, so I had to buy a new one. And um, unfortunately, they sell them in pairs, so I had to get both. Now, the good thing is this has a or oh, what do you call it, elongated hole and the nut has an elongate has a shank on it and then there's an elong the corresponding elongation in there. So essentially that goes in there and then goes through the backing plate. There's a centralizing pin here which fits in there and that all goes on there. Now you can see that that can be adjusted up and down. So again I'm not entirely sure where it needs to be. I'm going to go with the middle for now. And on the back we have a flat washer, a spring washer, and then a nut. Now, the nut is an 11 16th, and this head of the bolt 
is something oh, you don't see, well, I don't see very often, a 1932 or 1932nd. So I'll get that on there. I'll hold it with the, uh, the little power bar. Not that it's likely to turn, but uh, because of that um, elongated hole, it's not likely to turn, right? Now, I'm not going to put Loctite on this because obviously this will need to be adjusted at some point now or in the future. But just make that reasonably tight and we'll uh, tighten it up properly when we put all, when, once we put all the brakes in, brake shoes in, and everything's um, set properly. But that's that. Um, so, look, that concludes the reassembly of. Well, essentially this back plate and also the, the, the shaft. I've got to do the other one now, which of course I'm not going to film. Listen, thanks for watching. Uh, next video we'll be putting the um, axles back in, hopefully, and uh, setting the, the play between the shafts. So uh, that's my intended uh, next video. Before that, I'll probably do a video on that uh, water system that I, I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Um, uh, so I'll probably do that either later today or tomorrow and get that published for you as well if, you, if you're interested in that sort of thing. So um, once again, thanks for joining us at Waterhouse Ford and we look forward to seeing you in the next video.